this is Gio, and this is a flat screen TV. It's actually kind of connected to a bunch of entertainment systems, has a little Comcast box there, a Blu-ray player, but this is all connected to the internet via a Wi-Fi signal. And I've been having some problems streaming this signal. Uh, some of my movies don't play very well. And so I kind of want to make it a hard, uh, a hard hard line connection rather than Wi-Fi. So I come over here to my wall and here's where the cable comes in. But I, it, there's no uh, Ethernet uh, connection. So I want to bring in a new Ethernet line, make a little plug right here for an Ethernet. And so I could hardwire this in. So uh, I want to, I'll show you how to do it. So this is the outside of the house where the cable line comes in. I've already kind of loosened it up. But I could bring in an Ethernet line through the outside of the wall, but I really don't want to do that. There is a crawl space underneath, and so um, I think I'll just go through the crawl space through the wall and uh, stick in a line that way so it won't show from the outside. So looking at the existing plug, this actually just pops off. Whoever installed it before didn't even put in screws, so it just through a little friction just comes on out and you can see uh, how the line comes in it's just a little hole right here I'm probably gonna have to make this hole a little bit bigger or um, so the Ethernet line can come in and what I want to replace this with instead of this plate I want to replace it with this plate and these have different plugins you can put uh, here's a little square plug-in adapter uh, for the cable line and then here's a 5e e Ethernet uh, plug that will plug into both these little square components. But first, the problem is getting my Ethernet through here. So one of the hardest things about fishing a wire through an existing um, wall is to know exactly where to drill, where to start fishing it. Now underneath here is a crawl space and it, it provides pretty easy access to this wall and we all really only have to go up a foot. But we have to know where to drill in to the sill so we can actually go straight up here. If, if we're a little off, we'll probably wind up um, past the next stud and we're in the wrong place. So this you have to be a little creative. Now there is an existing wall here. There are some existing receptacles that come up from the basement, which helps. But there's something right over here that is going to really help us out. Now this wire actually goes to the speaker. And when this was installed, instead of coming through the wall, it, there was a, a hole just drilled through this little molding piece, not hurting the hardwood floor. But so this go, comes directly from the crawl space. Now this hole should be easily visible from the crawl space. Now we could measure this distance to the wall and more importantly this whole distance this way so we can match up exactly where this lands. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this. And so using the floorboards as kind of a guide I'm just gonna let's see that measures right about here so that's about seven inches okay so I'm under the crawl space there's a lot of nice little spiders and stuff down here but this here is that wire that came up from the uh, molding and so we measured seven inches away so we'll do that in a second and this is this is the uh, foundation wall and so hopefully we'll be drilling right in there so let's go ahead and take our tape out so I've kind of put a mark where the seven inches were and tracing it over we get right about here so I'm going to be drilling right through here hopefully not hitting anything important and what I'm going to be using is I have this pretty long one half inch drill bit so this should get me through Right, that should do it. Let's see if I hit the floor or what. Well, there you go. I'm not too proud. 
I missed the mark. So, <laughs> nothing another project can't fix, but I did redrill it and I did hit it this time and I have a hole in that wall. So, now I have to make a little hole underneath here so I could uh, string up the line. Okay, so I put a uh, new plate on and here it is. I'll have to expand this hole a little bit to get the new little plastic piece in, but it kind of gives me an idea and I just kind of center it and so I want to with a pencil kind of draw in here where this hole is supposed to be I, did I do that right yeah so so there I want to drill a new hole right here for the new cable so I went ahead and purchased 50 feet worth of the cat 5e ethernet cable and I'll use this for the project it does come with uh, both plug-ins. Um, you could buy it without that, but I'll just go ahead and clip off one end for for my needs. Okay, so I had to open up the hole a little bit, but I uh, just did some. This is lath and plaster, a little more difficult to use. But I did get the cord up, and from the bottom, what I did, I had a helper up here. I had these long little pliers, flashlight. So as it was rising, so my helper was looking and I uh, used the needle nose pliers to fish it out. And this is pretty easy. It could be a lot harder. But this is an easy job. Crawl space right at the bottom. And I wish you luck on yours. Try not to make any extra holes. See ya.